it's important to recognize that the future of the Jewish people at any given time is determined by about 50,000 people. And the percentage of these who come from day schools and high schools is completely disproportionate. It's here at institutions such as this where the future leaders of our people, the people who are going to shape the way the rest of the Jews live and think, is determined. Before we get to the book of Exodus, we have the book of Genesis. And in the book of Genesis, there is almost no Torah at all. There's almost no teaching, no instruction. There's a family, a family which lives together. Now, what influenced this dual nature of Judaism has on tonight's topic is very, very important. Because the nature of Judaism as both a religion and a people is that what Jews do has a profound impact on what Judaism is. Torah, our tradition, does not have a prophetic moment in which the Torah was given to an individual who then is, carries it. Moses is an intermediary, but everybody was standing at Sinai. Torah, this notion of a prophetic moment in which the Torah was given to the total people is indicative of the type of tradition we have. And as a result, one of the principles of our tradition, which becomes, it's, it's Agadic uh, values in the Talmud, and it becomes Jewish law with Rashi in the 10th century, is the category of Afal Pisha Chata Yisrael. A person, even though they have sinned, they are still an Israelite. In other words, your membership in the community is not contingent on what you believe and on what you do. Each one seeing what they do as ideologically, not only acceptable, but as ideologically important. And consequently, the Judaism that we have is not just determined by the rabbis. It's marginally determined by Torah and God. It's determined by all of them together by a combination of God, Torah, and the Jewish people. How you feel about what Judaism will be is a very personal question. What you do about it will ultimately determine the future directions of our people. God being one is a God who is other. And that God who is other is not controlled by you, stands outside of you, stands above you and challenges you, obligates you, commands you, says, you shall be holy for I, the Lord your God, am holy. It's a God who makes you feel guilty, who says, I expect more from you. There's something that I want from you. That traditional God is going to be primarily the God of yesterday. What does it mean to be a Jew? To, mean, to be a Jew means to care for and to embody certain principles and values, not en masse. Certain principles and values which exist within our tradition. And I am observant Jew to the extent that these values and these principles and these ethical guidelines are important things in my life. They're important in my life primarily for the way I look at the world. They're a lens. And as today, there are approximately one million non-Jews living in Jewish families with a full sense of Jewish identity. I'm not talking about non-Jews who have an alternative identity. Non-Jews who never converted, who see themselves fully as Jews and are full and active participants. This is already here. Just any pretext at changing that will be completely gone within 10 years. You might be very, very committed to who you are as a Jew. You might be very, very committed to the self-evidency of the truths that have shaped you and defined you. The thing, however, that you have to accept as a given 
is that that which has made every single one of us a Jew here in this room is going to be increasingly irrelevant for the generations which are coming. If we want to shape and ensure vibrancy and depth, it's going to be determined by our ability to create new ideas, new educational experiences, and new sources of inspiration. At the end of the day, the Judaism of the future is going to be less about a connection to the Judaism of the past and more about a Judaism which inspires one in the present. Whether we could create such a Judaism is, I believe, the greatest challenge facing the future of not simply Judaism, but also of the Jewish people. Thank you.